Hey, I'm Colleen Taylor with GigaOM. I'm here at Inkling with Inkling's founder and CEO, Matt McInnes. Howdy. To start, could you explain what Inkling is? Yeah, so Inkling is a publishing platform. Um, specifically, we build next generation textbooks, or things that replace textbooks, interactive, engaging, digital textbook content that we build in partnership with the big publishers, Pearson and McGraw-Hill and those guys, to build something that really makes sense for the iPad. This week you're celebrating something? 2.0, which is both two years uh, old as a company, okay. um, and of course, Inkling version 2.0. Can we fire it up and can I yeah. play with it a little so bit? Let me show you what, um, what Inkling looks like on an iPad. Uh, and when you come in, you can see all the titles you've downloaded. So for example, I can come into this biology title, and you'll see that this title is actually really big. There's 60 chapters, and it's about a 1,400 page book in print. And so if I just you know, tap on chapter 47, it'll give me this view of all of the content that's available to me in that chapter. And then if I tap on any given card, because we don't, you know, we don't have pages in Inkling, it's not a book and we don't pretend that it's a book, um, you can kind of scroll through the content. Whenever there's a defined term the student has to study, they can tap on it and get a definition straight from the glossary. Um, and then if it looks like you should be able to tap something, you can. So if I can tap on this image, I can get a nice big view of, in this case, hemoglobin. But this little molecular structure down here, if I really want to see that in 3D, I can just tap over here and it renders it out in 3D. And so I can see a 3D molecule of heme just as it, you know, you'd kind of get it if you were to put together a ball and stick model in the classroom. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty beautiful. That is so cool. Um, so we've been doing this for some time. Right. Um, and so we've taken it a, a few steps further. So if I just pull up gently, it'll bring me right down to the next card. And I can see anything rendered out in 3D. So here's for example, a model of the human heart that I can rotate, and you'll see that there's little annotations and notes that are floating in 3D along with all the other content. So if I tap, it shows me more information on the arch of the aorta. I can even now tap on a Wikipedia link that loads the Wikipedia page right in front of the textbook. If I want to see something in here, if I want to bookmark this and put it into my notebook, um, and then when I'm done, I just tap done, and it takes me right back out into the textbook. So we're kind of bringing the outside world right into, um, into the textbook experience. Um, you know, something like this is a music title where I can come in and actually tap on the classical period and, um, and you can see as I scroll through I get to things like listening guides, vocal music guides, translations of the Italian into English, but I also see staff notation. So we deal with very complex layouts and if I want to listen to Symphony Number no. 40 by Mozart, I just hit playing, play now, and it immediately starts to play, um, play the symphony. And you can imagine that for a music student, this is a way better way for them to, to study the music. Um, not just listening to something as you read, but also going into a listening outline where the whole listening outline is actually synchronized with the music. So in this case, concerto number 23, and if I scrub across, it actually jumps the listening guide to that location. Right. So I can see here, piano continues with running notes. Wow. That's what I hear, right? So really, really great way for you to, to do music. Right. Um, so, you know, science, music, we have all kinds of great medical titles, we have a ton of great business titles. That's, that's really amazing. It's so great to have these things right in, you know, in the flow because I, I remember taking a music class and, and you know, you kind of had to have the CD and you yeah. had to remember which one. Now the it book. seems so silly, but, you know, yeah. when, once you see this, it just makes so much more sense. Right. That's the beauty of it is that when people see it, they instantly know that it's something that's completely different from a book, and it's also really different even from the way that most digital textbook things have been done to date, which has been to sort of just take a PDF and toss it onto a computer screen. So 2.0 has, um, in addition to a bunch of content stuff, uh, a really cool thing that is, is all about, you know, social. I don't like that word because it doesn't mean anything, but you know, it's really about connecting people inside the textbook. So if I come over here and, and look at my notebook, all my notes, all my highlights are sort of aggregated here for me as a study guide. So as I work my way through the content, with every note and highlight I create, I'm actually sort of uh, assembling that study guide on the fly. But when I see something that somebody else said in the book that I like, I can always just come over to one of their notes, like this one, and I, if, I, if I like it, I can tap the star button, and it'll actually take that little note, tear it off, and throw it right into my notebook. And you can see now that today, I added that one to my notebook. Wow. Um, and if I like what Rob says, then in this case, Rob will be followed, and so every time Rob makes a note or highlight, I can see Rob's notes and highlights right inside my book. Textbooks in print today are super expensive, $200 for that biology textbook that I showed you. Um, and, and we sell the chapters in that book for $2.99 a piece. Wow. So there's 60 of them. So when you do the math, it's not necessarily cheaper if 
it's a little cheaper, but you know, not a lot cheaper if you buy all the individual chapters. But the truth is that your professor is going to uh, assign 15 of those 60 chapters in a semester. So you're going to pay $45. You're going to spend that $45 over the course of an entire semester. And, um, and that's going to save you a boatload. And you don't, you, know, and you don't have to worry about, you know, is this book going to be worth anything at the end of the semester? Because you're getting the benefit of all that savings up front. Well, thank you so much for taking me through everything, and it looks really great. Um, thanks a lot for taking the time. Yeah, thanks for coming over to England. Yeah.